guys? What's up, guys? We are heading to a rotation for Lake Jackson Police Department today. Uh, supposed to be picking up a vehicle that went through a building. Um, haven't really got any other details other than that. I don't know what kind of vehicle, if anybody's injured or anything. Uh, so if you would, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, we are headed that way. We'll see what we got here in a few minutes. Thanks Thank for watching, guys. As you can see, it's raining pretty hard. How's it going? Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we're going to need any additional equipment. Looks like they're... What's up, guys? Looks like they're getting people out. Guys. going y'all uh gonna have him pull it out or no you're, no you're gonna take over everything okay that's what i was wondering but i can't i can't let any tension off right until tempo just just let me know all right so i'm gonna pull up a little closer here i've got donnie on the way with his wheel lift truck so we can get it off in the grass there and get it pulled out that way i don't have to try to get my big heavy flatbed off in that wet ground the uh, wheel lift trucks weigh a lot less than the uh, flatbed does so we're gonna have him help us with the recovery part of it he's on his way i'm gonna move up a little bit closer here um and then we'll be uh, going here again in a minute all right so Donnie's on his way. We just got to go ahead to start working. 
So I'm getting my shackle hitch. So that way we can use that as a recovery point to pull it out of the building. that for a recovery point all right so Donnie's gonna make his way up here right now the fire department is advising the uh, only real hazard they have right now is the the breakers are shut off um, but center point hasn't been out here to actually kill the power yet so we uh, have to go slow and be careful that way you know if anything starts happening we can shut down so Donnie's pulling in right now no way I'd have got my flatbed up here without cutting some real bad ruts or getting stuck Straight back. Looking good. Try to get him as straight with it as possible. Want to run one line or two lines? You got twisted. Oh, I think it re engaged. Yeah. There we go. They say it's already in neutral. Hopefully, water ain't getting on my lens. Yeah, just yeah, just nice and easy. You good? It's just all the conduit and stuff. I mean, it's just moving around. It's not actually like yanking it out. It's just all the bricks and everything moving under the... Yeah, I would think so. But it, it's not, it didn't really, it was just everything kind of scooting. Yeah, if we can. Yeah. It's good on this side. Huh? That's why I was wondering. Well, it's a force. It probably killed it. Not hung up on nothing. 
You ain't driving it though. No, you ain't driving it. I guess I think I can leave it up there for that, for that edge. If you could, I mean, wheel lift it. Yeah, it ain't gonna drive. No. Dang. Try to try to wheel it. We can go get this thing over to like H E B or something. We can get out of here. I'll try to I'll try to get out of here with a wheel lift. Yeah, I don't. I mean, you can always scoot forward a little more if you need to. Uh, do you want the battery disconnected? I mean, yeah. it wouldn't hurt. That way, before it starts arcing off. This of is stuff. on a uh, rescue. Can we get uh, spreaders and cutters? Spreaders and wire cutter. Guess we'll give them their brake back. Try to secure the steering wheel if I can. <sighs> Still got electrical power. the steering wheel that's why I, I get it out of here yeah want to go in uh, yeah I heard him spread in the hood just a second ago you pull back some more let me see you're gonna get to cut it they still gotta cut it Somebody pull out in front of him or what? You in, you in charge of this investigation? You need, you need these doors opened up before we put the tools away. Somebody, hey, <laughs> can you right. Okay. Yeah. Figure out what doors he needs open. Let's I gotta leave here and go over there and have a teacher. Right. <laughs> oh no, across the street. Her basketball. Oh no. So close. That driver's door opens. like somebody both of them probably hit this I already used the okay yeah is that y'all's bag in the back is that y'all's bag in the back I'm sorry is that y'all's bag I wasn't sure if it was like rescue or something It's got something hard in it. I just want to make sure one of you guys didn't flop it off in there or something. I've done that before. Gotten called. Fire department was like, hey, we uh, we left our bag in the truck. Oh, yeah. You got any video on this one? Oh. I moved it to my chest instead of my head. Because it was uh, it wet. Well, it kind of helps protect it a little bit, but they don't have it sagging my hat down. Bricks off the top of this thing before they fly off going down the road. I'll get that in a minute. That's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Once you get, get done uh, moving, I'm gonna slide it down the bed.
go ahead and throw it in park. Well, yeah. It's got keys. If it didn't have keys, I was going to leave it. Donnie's truck, we have uh, the uh, L arm protectors from DG Towing Supply. I get it. Need to oil these things. All right, I'm gonna get this one last strap on here. I'll be over there in a second. Y'all are good for us to go ahead and get out of here, right? Uh, as far as I know, where's all? That's why I was. Hey, we've we got it out. Um, we're gonna move it over to like H E B to where I can load it up. Are y'all done? Are y'all ready for he's us? Gonna, he's got an inventory. Inventory. Finishing out, so don't leave until you get that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go over to HEB, so. And then, uh, yeah. appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right. Just gonna toss this up there real quick. We'll be back at HEB. All right. We moved over to HEB, so we're clear of the scene. All right. Donnie's got an appointment he's got to make, so I'm going to go ahead and get this thing loaded up. The uh, officers are going to meet us over here in a minute to give us the inventory paperwork while they clear the scene over there. I do know... So at least two occupants that were being taken out on stretchers as we were making scene. So if you would keep them in your thoughts and prayers, I don't know what their current status is. Walk the truck forward. Bring the Loading angle down a little bit. Get this thing back into neutral here in just a second. Snug up on the winch. Well, we're on level ground, so I really expect it to go anywhere. Just kind of have a habit of getting the winch cable snugged up, so it can't roll too far this way and it can't go too far that way. Glass everywhere. Oh, they cut the battery. Forgot they 
got the battery out of it. We're just gonna drag it on up the bed. Looks like it's going pretty straight. With all the rain, it ought to be pretty easy to slide this thing off. It's in parks, we ain't gonna worry about it rolling off or nothing, rolling forward. down while we wait for the officers to get us our inventory again if you would keep the occupants in your thoughts and prayers Thing secured down tight. My D ring straps from BG Towing Supply over in Fort Worth. I really don't like hooking this load, but I reckon it'll be all right. For what we're doing really prefer to hook more towards the it has to be nine o'clock to ten o'clock or uh two to three o'clock on the back tires this rain's got my ratchets all sticky i gotta oil them down Two more on the other side. Well, we have our legal four points of securement. It's the winch cable does not count as a point. The winches on these trucks are not load bearing. So if you have like a harsh stop or anything to that effect could lose pressure so if you only had say you know one j-hook or something on the back of it it would uh could possibly you know come loose and, and you have a bunch of slack in your rigging that's never good so i always go with the legal four points of securement when possible Especially on a rainy day like today, because the deck is actually pretty slick.
the last strap. Get this thing secured down. Get our inventory sheet and we'll be ready to go. All right, we're back at the yard. That white Dodge will be the next video. You'll see that here in a couple of days. I had to run and go grab it with Cerise truck because another call came in right as this call came in or was finishing up. I was literally pulling in the gate here and another PD call came in. So I had to jump in Cerise truck because she's out and go get that one. But that's a different video. So we're getting this one. Here, getting all my straps off, getting it ready to get unloaded. I'm gonna have to shake this one off. It's the fire department cut the battery out for us. To eliminate any kind of a fire hazard or anything. I got a little more info on the story of this one. Apparently the uh, driver just from the light just randomly just gunned it and came across, came through the grass and just smoke the building so not sure if there's some kind of a medical issue or what is an odd accident scene nonetheless for about three or four days straight now. I think we're just about done with it. Oh, my ratchets are starting to stick. So I'm gonna have to oil them up here. down because we have the truck stuck in park I'm not crawling underneath it so pop the shift linkage on this one not with all the glass and bricks and water and mud and all this stuff on the bed so we're gonna shake this one off Come over here on this side since this is the side that's closest to everything. I'm going to shake it on this side here. Because of all the water and stuff on the bed, it shakes off pretty easy. bed in and using the hydraulics to push the truck forward it's lifting the rear end up off the ground if you watched 
couple of videos ago. I have a uh, exterior view of that. Right there. Push the truck out. I don't have my other camera set up right now. It's because of the rain. The uh, I have some accessories, some accessories on that camera that are not waterproof. So I don't have that one filming right now. off of it real quick Bed laid down. Yeah, have to go clean it off a little bit. Get a whole bunch of bricks and glass and everything. All right, that one's unloaded. Now they get the impound paperwork and all that stuff done on both of these real quick and we'll be ready for whatever comes next again if you would keep the occupants of the vehicles in your thoughts and prayers we are going to see y'all in the next one thanks for watching guys